Hello, this is Glenda with Freelands and Friends. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to do some do-it-yourself costumes with coats or jackets in case it's a cold October and you just don't want to cover your costume. So let's make the coat or the jacket part of the costume. Right now I'm wearing a hoodie. So I can pull this up. Where's my strings? Don't have any strings on it. <laughs> but I can pull this up and you can put different things on it. Um, you don't have to be anything in particular. I do have some face paints here. If you want to use it to... Let's, let's, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, let's try and get this started. And some of these are probably going to look pretty dumb, but that's kind of what Halloween is. It's just being whoever. You don't have to be any particular person, but if you want to, let's do this. Let's be Cousin It. If you've ever watched The Addams Family or any of the movies for The Addams Family, you know who Cousin It is. Let's be Cousin It, and we'll match the sweater. Hope that's on backward. It's hard to tell. Here's Cousin It. Now, Cousin It doesn't really talk much, does he? But... You need someone along to tell your message, to say trick or treat for you, because he just more or less goes. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> uh, because cousin it is all hair. Now I don't think you can be all hair, but you can do this. You can be, and. This doesn't matter what kind of coat you have. You probably want something with some sparkle or something on it. You can be... Was it the 80s when they did all the punk hair? <laughs> with the colors in it? Or was that the 90s? Green hair. Yeah, whatever. And of course, there was Kiss. Now you don't, I'm not going to do the whole face, but there was Kiss, the band. I didn't put the white part on because that would cover your whole face, but I just don't want to take that much time to take it off. So, you know, Kiss had all kinds of weird stuff going on on their face. In fact, they've just recently completely retired that I know of. Now, I'm probably not doing too good because I'm doing this quick and I'm just... I have no idea what it looks like because my glasses aren't on. So, But it gives you the idea. Be Kiss. Be a weird clown. How about that? <laughs> Just be a weirdo. I'm the weirdo from down the street. Ah. Now in the 70s, let me get this stuff off my face. I really got it, didn't I? Let's 
I better be able to get it off. Okay, lesson learned. If you're going to use face paint, put some face cream on under it first. <laughs> Especially black. Oh. You're not going to see me put, do much standing up. Because <laughs> one, thing, one thing, it's hard on my breathing, but another thing, it's hard on my breathing. Okay. The fisherman. The old fisherman. Find a couple of fishing tackle things to put in your hat. Nothing too terribly sharp. Because remember, we don't want to get hurt on Halloween. But the fisherman with the jacket, and you could even hang some things on your jacket to, I mean, to be a fisherman. <laughs> Just play the part. There's no set rule, I don't think, when it comes to Halloween on how expensive the costume is, exactly how it looks. And around here, sometimes October or Halloween is nice and warm and everybody can go out in shirt sleeves. Other years, it's darn cold. Well, let's try another look. I would need help with this <laughs> and you might too the inside out and backwards look the hat punch it out the wrong way there you go do the butt teeth look hi trick or treat ah <laughs> uh. To be the farmer, you need the cap, cap or another hat of some sort. Yeah, we don't live in Alaska. My parents went there. You need the hat. And you might want to find something to put in your mouth that looks like you're chewing on grass. <laughs> if you so choose. And talk kind of like, talk kind of like, well, I got to go out and I got to mow the back, plow the back 40 and put in some seeds of some oats. Just talk like a farmer. Got to get that old John Deere out and get it working. Darn thing sputtering all the time. The farmer. But yeah, till I do that, trick or treat, please. Kids can do this. And parents, yeah. You know, and for one thing, this here, we have COVID. And so it might be that you need to do something virtual or just around the house. So why not have a fun party in the house? So depending on how you're able to do things and your level of what's going on in your area. Now you can, you can wear the mask and still do a costume. You can just do the mask with the, <laughs> the costume with the mask on. So don't do anything dangerous. I really don't want anybody getting sick or hurt out of this. And even if you're young and healthy, if you get exposed to the virus, you could infect someone else. And People like me would not be able to stand being infected. So do be responsible. But there are ways that I believe that trick-or-treating can be done and be done safely with the distancing and the masks. But 
please just, you know, I was going to change into different coats and stuff, but there's so much I can do with this one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, that ain't working. Now I'm just contrary old lady. <laughs> I don't know what I am. I really don't right now. But I look funny. I look weird. And I can say trick or treat. <laughs> trick or treat over Zoom. Parents can have the treats and have the Zoom. And when you get somebody on Zoom, Give, get a treat. <laughs> the 70s flower child. This band is a little bit wide. And my hair is very short. Well, that's here. Well, let's just go with it. They did about it. I don't think they dyed their hair, but they did about anything they wanted. That was the 60s and the 70s and this thing don't want to go on right there we go Boop. the bangs are there somewhere these are just cheap synthetic wigs that I picked up that I ordered from Amazon <laughs> there of course I'm kind of chubby but that don't matter so now we can do the flower child. Carry your guitar around and just act like you're playing it. <laughs> just be a flower child. And if, if you happen to have long hair, you don't isn't that pretty? Then you don't have to do th you don't have to do this. I mean, or if you have more hair than I do, you don't have to do that. Because mine is, <laughs> I keep my hair short because well, it just doesn't behave any other way. So it's just some ideas. They're just ideas, and you can be you can be the bum. Now, if you're going to be the bum. You'll probably want, they take everything, they keep everything they own on their body. So you don't have, I mean, you don't have to do that. But you know, wear a couple pairs of socks maybe and roll down the outer pair so that the other pair shows up. And maybe if you have some old shoes that you don't wear anymore, maybe they're a little worn out, some old tinny runners, you know, put some tape around them like you're holding them together <laughs> or something if you if you still want to wear them as shoes I would not recommend duct tape maybe masking tape because <laughs> masking tape comes off easier or freezer tape some people call it freezer tape painters tape is another choice because that comes off pretty easy um, you know if you do know how to do face paints there are stencils there's there's just so many ways you can make a crown out of cardboard or yeah a stiff paper or cardboard and foil and have a nice princess or a fairy you know put a, make a wand out of foil and cardboard too put it on a stick and sparkle up your jacket with I don't know maybe I don't know if people bedazzle anymore or not, but bedazzling don't come off so easy, I don't think. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe just a dressy one that makes you look real pretty. Sometimes wear part of your, if it's big enough, wear part of your costume on the outside of your jacket or your coat. There's so many ways. I just want everybody to have a safe Halloween and a, an inventive Halloween. You know, a lot of our kids, they were pirates, they were 
all kinds of things, and all, all of it was bought from Salvation Army. They had years where they had the store-bought costumes, but I'll tell you what got the best reviews from people were the ones that we just made up. So make up a costume. And if you're in warm weather, you don't have to worry about the jacket or the coat unless you want to. But if you're in cold weather, you can do all kinds of things. Like I said, if your costume's big enough, you can wear it over the coat. And if your coat's pretty, you can have it as part of the costume. <laughs> if it's like if you're being a fairy or something. So, I don't know what else to do. I'm just being goofy and silly. I don't know how much of this is anything anybody's going to want to. But I just want to stimulate imagination. That's all I want to do. So we'll talk to you Monday. And maybe we'll get into Nina's page on that scrapbook. But again, if you're going to use face paint, especially black, put some cream on, facial cream or something on under it, because I had a heck of a time. I had to use Vaseline and really rub my face. <laughs> And you saw, well, you saw the black face paint. So, have a good, have a good weekend. And be creative with something. Don't have to be a costume. Just be silly a little bit of the time. It's always good to have a little bit of the day to just be silly and laugh. Everybody needs to laugh. <laughs> so, I love you very much. And... We'll see you Friday. Uh, no, we'll see you Monday. This is Friday. We will see you Monday. <laughs> Have a good weekend. You can also go as a confused old lady. <laughs>